Good evening, Quinnipiac, and welcome to the Q30 Nightcast. We begin tonight with breaking news. During campaign season, attack ads seem to be everywhere, but as Scott Sheehan tells us, they might not be as effective as politicians thought. Yale University is helping to give inner city students the opportunity to attend college. The New Haven Promise is a program where Yale will pay selected students full tuition to any Connecticut public college or university. This program will be phased in over the next four years, with the class of 2014 being the first class eligible for free tuition. It will also pay a portion of private tuition. Why did no one find them sooner? And now there's some boys that were confirmed dead. Find out how they were rescued and how they survived. I'm Marcus Root, and you are in the Situation Room. <laughs> I think he's got him down. Yeah. Yeah. He did a great job. I'm, uh, he, had, he had me nailed down. He had the whole set nailed down. He's just not old enough to grow your beard yet. <laughs> not yet, but he looks like he's got a future in this business. Wolfboro, New Hampshire. A town of less than 3,000 people has a diner that closes for the winter, all locally owned shops, and a lake with tremendous views. Lake Winnipesaukee is the reason that draws so many people to Wolfboro in the summer, including one man who could possibly change the face of this town within the next year, Republican presidential candidate Mitt Romney. After winning Iowa and New Hampshire, the question is, if Romney continues on to become president, how will this small town be affected? Town manager David Owen says it would be good for business. Oh, I think that, that the, the current businesses would love it, uh, uh, all the downtown merchants, because uh, there'd be a big influx of tourists. But real estate agent Randy Parker says residents like their quiet town. We have two months of ten weeks of very, very busy times. And we all are very happy to see them go away, and we're always happy to see them come back. He estimated Romney's lakefront home to be worth about $5 million. Reaction is mixed among shop owners about Romney's possible effect on the town. Romney owns a summer home right across the lake. Only time will tell if Wolfboro's local celebrity will change the dynamic of this town forever. From Wolfboro, New Hampshire, I'm Marcus Arun. Now with your South Carolina Republican primary results, we are projecting Newt Gingrich to be the winner of the South Carolina Republican primary tonight. Let's take a look at the numbers. Take a closer look. We see that he won 40% of the vote. Mitt Romney winning 28% of the vote, Rick Santorum winning 17%, and Ron Paul winning 13%. All right, Erica, time for the shot. They say imitation is the sincerest form of flattery. That works for us. Take a look at this eye report by Marcus Har Harun and see if it seems, well, kind of familiar. Take a look. Larry, thanks very much. We begin tonight with breaking news. He wants my job. A 16-year-old from Hamden, Connecticut, films news broadcasts in his basement studio, premiering for the first time ever on 360, the best technical team on television. Thanks very much, Dr. Haroon, Marcus Haroon, Marcus, and Mark Haroon. Sometimes it takes forever to get out of the university. Right after classes, sometimes there's lots and lots of cars piled up here. That's on Mount Carmel Avenue, and the basics of this construction project is to take Mount Carmel Avenue, which is right here, the main entrance to Quinnipiac University and Sleeping Giant State Park, and realign it with this road over here, which is West Woods Road. Now there's about 50 feet in between two traffic lights at this intersection. What they want to do is make it into one solid intersection, four ways, where then that way people don't have to be waiting sometimes 10 minutes to get out of school. Students and teachers are fed up with the construction that's been going on here for years at the corner of Mount Carmel and Whitney Avenue. This is the main artery to get in and out of Quinnipiac University. So when lanes are closed like they are now and the police have to direct traffic, leaving only one lane open, 
it really delays students and sometimes it even makes them late for class. But the Department of Transportation says that won't last for much longer because construction is only one month from being finished.